Hello, and welcome to The Real Deal Reveal, a magical titty tour about teas, sleaze, and unpopular opinions in showgirl life and beyond. We are your MCs, Sweet D and Remy Martini. Please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Real Deal Reveal. I am Sweet D, and with me is Remy Martini. Say hi, Remy. Hi, Remy. Um, hi. <laughs> and this is our first episode of this podcast. We've been trying to do this for like a year. Yeah, we've been doing, trying to do it for a year now. And we started recording some episodes, but then life started lifing. And uh, we had to t- take a, a break. And so we're starting over again. <laughs> so, from the beginning. From the beginning, which is fine, which is fine. Um, it's it good- always best to start from the beginning, right? Yeah, it's, it was a good test run. So kind of, we kind of worked out a little bit of kinks. So, but I like kinks. But anyways, <laughs> we worked out some of those. And uh, so here we are. So this is our first episode. It's going to be a quick introduction, kind of like who we are, what we do, what's been going on, um, what we got coming up and all that jazz. So do you want to take it away, Remy? Who are you? Where are you from? Who am I? <laughs> Much like, uh, you know, Jackie Chan, who am I? Just kidding. That's a deep cut. Z- Zoolander. Who am I? Or Zula, who am I? <laughs> All the movie references. Uh, so Remy Martini, I've uh, been twirling my tassels for a little over 15 years now. I started uh, at the ripe old age of 30, which at the time was a little bit old to be getting into burlesque. I think most of the girls that I was, I was performing with at the time, my troop were like 20s early twenties. Uh, so, uh, originally started with a troupe, decided to go as a solo performer, um, been shaking it up on stage, uh, ever since, you know, I've tried my hand at production. I've tried my hand at, uh, teaching. Uh, I love crafting and that's you know another reason why i'm all into burlesque because you know i'm a crafty bitch uh (laughs) so yeah you know uh have some shows coming up i just did mile high burlesque festival in colorado because i'm a big stoner show girl i'm all about the weed (laughs) and uh have texas burlesque fest coming up at the end of the month i'm going to be performing at the opening night party Super excited about that. Should be a nice, intimate affair. And uh, other big news, I just turned 46, and I've been celebrating this week by... Happy birthday! Thank you! Cin- Cinco uh, de... Je- Sorry, Cinco de Remy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess, you know, muggle name is Jenny Smith, so... <laughs> You know, we, I usually celebrate Cinco de Geno. Is that what you? I'll let I you call Cinco de Geno. Cinco de Geno. I'll let you do that because <laughs> a white person adding an O to a word and considering it Spanish not cool. A Latina, go ahead, go for it. <laughs> but yeah, I celebrated by going to Cypress Hills, so got to get up and close and personal with them and act like I was still 20 years old and then feel like my 46 years when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> Takes like days to recover now. Yeah, Weeks. so long. Sometimes. So long. <laughs> the glitter crash is real. <laughs> it is. It is. That is something we're going to talk about too. Yeah. Um, on this podcast, we're going to talk all things burly, dance, performance, all that stuff. Unpopular opinions. That's what we said. Unpopular right? opinions. <laughs> All about unpopular opinions. <laughs> I feel like we've been in the burly game for a while. We we've earned uh, the right to 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 shoot some shoot some shit, talk some shit, shoot some shit. <laughs> well, uh, and you know, I didn't know if you wanted to go into how we know each other, but I will. Yeah, is it my turn? You, yeah, your turn. Are you done? Okay, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Not yet. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I am Sweet D and and I too am from Texas. I'm from Austin, Texas. And that is how we know each other, Remy. When I started burlesque in 2010, um, I joined Big Star Burlesque. Uh, I was looking for something post breakup. 
And I just searched burlesque in Craigslist. Remember Craigslist? <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> and there was an audition for Big Star and I was like, dope. And so I, I went and auditioned. I became part of Big Star, but Big Star did not last long. What, it was like a year, maybe, maybe less. That Probably was, less. Ended. Yeah, I think I did four shows, maybe three, four shows with the group before um, it disbanded for reasons unknown to me but we disbanded and then I was kind of floating in space for a while um until I moved to San Diego and became a member of the Pixie Sticks burlesque actually I was with West Coast Cabaret for a while too hot second as well I think I did two shows with them too and then I was a pixie and then um after San Diego I moved to the East Coast and became a member of them burlesque and I've recently gone solo just because life again is lifing and I only have so many hours in my, my day. And so I decided like, you know what, for my mental health and physical health, I need to take a step back and just kind of rearrange some things. So I'm officially solo performer. I've been doing it, like I said, since 2010. Um, but I've been a dancer my whole life. I started performing at the age of nine. I started teaching at 17 and um yeah and i'm still going and i am opening my own studio Yay! <laughs> so excited. like finally it's been something i've been wanting to do for a long time and it just kind of fell into my lap and i can talk about that next time but i'm opening my studio it should be opening like in the next week or so um and then hopefully a grand opening in july and uh it's called pink parlor studios shameless shout out and uh it's gonna be in bath maine because that is where i live now i live in maine and um how did i end up here <laughs> the cold tundra of maine well i followed my husband that's what happened <laughs> um, so i kind of have to um great white so... north <laughs> And uh, another story for another day. Uh, but yeah, and I too, Remy, am going to the Texas Burlesque Fest. So yeah, yeah. we're going to be there together. I am so excited. So I don't we are think they... uh, what? I don't think they're ready for us. They won't be ready for us. Okay, are they not ready for us? We are. <laughs> so you're performing on Thursday, right? So Thursday. Uh, me and uh, my better half Matt, mad maxim are going to be performing on saturday night this is his burlesque festival debut i'm so excited and proud um of him awesome. he actually debuted in january of this year we did a duet and it was so much fun and i've kind of like convinced him over the last you know 12 years we've been together <laughs> to finally just <laughs> perform like quit quit being my prop and just get out there and let's duet. So we are known now as Sweet Madness. That's our duet name. That is our, what was it back in the day? The Brangelina name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Celebrity. Celebrity name. Um, Your duet brand. Duet brand. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, so we're performing um, an act that I choreographed actually, I think back in 2017. Um, and it's actually been... Uh, we performed it. I performed it with another dancer at the Ohio Burlesque Fest, and then it was accepted to the um, Virginia, the Richmond, Virginia Burlesque Fest this year. But I had to miss because we got a random snowstorm in April. <laughs> I could not get out of here. We were like snowed in. Everything was canceled. Everything was grounded. Um, roads, everything. I couldn't even drive. Um, so I had to uh, back out of that one, unfortunately, and I'm bummed. But hopefully next year we can do that. Uh, so yeah, we will be in Texas and I'll be there in two weeks. I'm going to be there a little earlier to hang out and cause uh, some trouble maybe with you, Remy. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. get some heat on my cheeks. <laughs> it is so cold here still. It is the middle of May and it is like 50 degrees outside. Are you I can't keeping handle. up with the weather here? Speaking no, of which, are you, are you, are you prepared what, for what you're about to come to? So let's just say May has been a pain already. Like we're high eighties. Oh, yes. So hot. Our heat index was like a hundred plus because it's terrarium season because we're getting rain. 
with him, but it's turned. Yeah, our our heat index was over a hundred the other day. You know what? I'm I'm here for it though because I have been wearing sweatpants and coats for like eight nine months now, and I am ready for yeah. the shorts. I'm, I'm I'll go back the- up. I'll go back up north with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting beautiful. Like the you know you look outside, it's sunny and the flowers are blooming and the trees are blooming. But then you step outside and you're like, oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's still cold for me, like 50 degrees for a bit, you know, a local is probably like whatever, but you know, I'm still not hundred percent acclimated to the area. I've only been here for a couple of years. So uh, it's, it's because I didn't come for my birthday. I know I'm pretty disappointed. Yeah. Last year I came for my birthday and it was beautiful it was the beautiful. entire time we were up there. Yeah. I remember, but yeah, this year it winter does not want to let go. <laughs> Just that hanging bitch. on for dear life. And like we had a couple of days that were 70 degrees and we were like, oh, and the next day it was psych back down to 49. Like, why the oh, why? Fooled you. Oh, yeah, fooled you. Psych. Um yeah, so I'm ready. I'm sorry if Texas is melting all faces off already, but I'm only gonna be there for like eight days or something so <clears throat> i'm ready yeah. for it bring it back here to maine and hopefully we'll have a nice dry ish summer because last year just rained and rained and rained and rained and we were all like come on please but i'm here for it i'm ready i'm ready i'm I'm getting getting my outfits together i got this hot dress for our saturday night post party or whatever and um i call it the naked dress because it's pretty See through. <laughs> I might <laughs> bedazzle my my um chones because you can see. <laughs> I mean, the dress is see through, so I was like, yeah. I might as well like have fun with this. So, so yeah, that's but yeah, how we so roll. coming in, that is how we roll. I'm extra. The older I get, the extra, the more extra I get, and it's totally fine. No more. Yeah, um, I love when people ask me, them. "Is this too much?" And I'm like. Wrong person. You no, know, for less performer. <laughs> for less perfor- person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrong yeah. person to ask. <laughs> no, it needs more. It needs a lot more. Do you have rhinestones? How about some tassels? How about first? <laughs> do you have some? Do you have, do you have, s- do you have some twelve-inch uh, chainette fringe hanging around? <laughs> because your outfit can sure use some of that. Do you have any sequins? <laughs> sequins. It was no, they better be glass here. rhinestones, not yes. plastic either. Yes. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I was sitting here looking at my microphone while I was waiting for you to get on, and I was like, I think I need a rhinestone. This is just a rhinestone <laughs> we, on my microphone. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm gonna blame you. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So, but, so yeah, <laughs> so coming to Texas in a couple of weeks, we're going to be at the festival, and that is going to be our next episode. That's going to be like our first like extended big for real episode it's going to be um the burlesque survival guide festival edition and we are going to be and we're going to be hopefully recording from the festival so um that's the plan that is the plan i'm so excited about that i'm so excited to see lynn who is my who is the uh she's one of the producers of the festival right she's a co She's on the board, co-producer. And she's actually my first teacher I ever had outside of high school when I was at Austin Community College. She's my very first um, teacher, and she's always just had a special place in my heart. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm pretty pumped uh, to see Lynn. And um, and everybody, I was taking a gander at the, um, the performance you know, performer roster and uh, a lot of familiar faces. And uh, I just can't wait to, to be there. I'm excited. It's been since 2012, since I performed at the Texas Burlesque Fest. That was my first wow. festival ever. Yeah. When I was yeah. a baby, when I was baby D, I did a Twin Peaks act. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, I think 2000, maybe 2000. Oh, wow. 2018 probably was the last time I performed at Texas Burlesque Fest. Um, they're, they're, timing was around the same time as um uh, mile high and so mm-hmm. i had to oh, take yeah. a couple of and then the pandemic you know let's not forget 
<laughs> and what it did to us right but no it's exciting and then hopefully we can get lynn uh to sit down with us for a little bit and you know yeah, probably that'd be so much fun have some probably instagram lives or some some yeah, stuff so you, so you see can us, see uh walking around looking like dopes <laughs> Our microphones <laughs> and cameras, like you know, come say hi. <laughs> I know, be like, doo, 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 oh, you doo, better doo, rhinestone doo, doo. it before bringing it around. I am, <laughs> and and luckily this can actually hook up to my phone. So, oh, can, can it? Yeah, it can. It's got two different connections. One for but the it's computer pink, computer. right? It is a pink heart. <clears throat> I need to get some sound effects on here. You, I'm I'm going to be the sound effect sound person. effects on here. There saw, are sound just, effects. Okay, yeah, I need to look. The... So Dee decides she's going to use a new program right off the bat. We didn't even test it. <laughs> didn't even. I have no idea. She's like, "You ready? Let's do this." And I was like, "Let me let me install Wait some stuff for thirty minutes." <laughs> hey, hey, man, I'm ready to go. But yeah, if this is our very first like run of this so apologies ahead of time if it sounds like crap or if like there's a lot of weird sounds like my cat meowing in the background and stuff like that but we're gonna get it we're gonna get it we gotta start somewhere gonna right it. so yeah we're gonna occasionally dress up you know and do some video ones um um because we look super cute when we're dressed up and uh bring some showgirl flair to yeah we have some big plans we, got some we do have plans. big plans. We do. We're going to give you all the info. We're going to give tea, <laughs> non-descriptive <laughs> tea. Some uh, hot topics. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely high. I'm always high on these things. Uh, <laughs> I'm always high in general. Hot not... topics. Not high topics, but I guess we could call them high topics. Ooh. <laughs> You're like hot, not hot. Um, maybe... Maybe some giveaways. Yeah, I love me some giveaways. I don't know. I just we have plans. This is my first podcast. Um, and Mine too. <laughs> this is okay. So how this became a thing was I accidentally. I haven't talked to Remy in a while. Um, I ran into you twenty. Was it twenty eighteen at the um, BurleyCon? Twenty nineteen. It was right before the p pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. It was. It was a year or two before pandemic, and I ran into Remy at BurleyCon. I was teaching and attending, and we hadn't I seen each other in a while. And we're like, "Oh my god, what?" I oh, you saw me? Stalked. No, just kidding. I had seen you, and I was like, "Man, I love, I loved Dee. I, I loved her when she was part of the troop, and then once the troop, you know, imploded, and we would see each other out and about, like it's at Texas for Last Fest." Yeah, randomly love her. And then I saw that you were, you know, took one of her classes, kicked my ass at Burley Con. <laughs> Still have a butt issue. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we were in line to get coffee and you were ahead of me. And I was like, oh, yeah. hey, girl, hey. And then we just started bullshitting because we had like an hour to kill. And mm -hmm. so I was like, hey, you want to come back to my room? <laughs> Yeah, I'll come back to your room. And I did. You we did. Sent to bed and we, we caught up on a lot of stuff. And I was like, oh, this is cool. This is fun. And and then we didn't see, we didn't talk to each other after that. And then one day I randomly, accidentally Marco Polo'd <laughs> Remy trying to do it, trying to send it to somebody else. And I don't know how it accidentally like got sent to Remy. So she messaged me back and she was like, uh, did you send me a message? like I, what's going on and then i was like oh, yeah my bad and then we just started talking and then we just started catching up on like we had just said like you know hot topics stuff going on we started chit chatting yeah. and then i don't remember who it was but we were like this would make a good podcast <laughs> and then we were like why not you know like why the hell not i'm really in this mood lately um in my mid 40s of like fuck it fuck <laughs> you it, right? know like just you know let's just do it if it works it works if not like oh well we let's, tried you know yeah let's play into the the patriarchal bullshit of like oh it's all hormones because yeah that's that's <laughs> the reason but yeah you hit 40 and you start going further and further into the 40s and you start giving less and less fucks so you're yeah. like yeah let's do yeah. it time short yeah exactly so 
like I said, if it works, it works. If not, cool, whatever. Um, and yeah, I platform. mean, like you don't, you don't know unless you try, right? Like, right. so, so yeah, so that's what we are doing. That's why we're here. And um, if you have any, you know, performance, dance, burly things you want us to talk about and discuss, like, let us know, like hit, hit us up on socials. Um, my Instagram is showgirl on the go with the underscores in between showgirls one word. And Remy, yours is Remy Martini. Uh, yes, I just think it's plain old Remy Martini um, on the Insta. Correct. Yeah. Oh, sorry, um, Remy Martini one, one because there was it. already a Remy. <laughs> <gasps> Rude. It was, I know there was already another Remy Martini, and that was before I became such a pop professional that I would, you know, I didn't want to put four twenty. So, like, if you go. Uh, I can't remember what platform, but I'm like Remy Martini 420, and then yeah, on uh, Snapchat, I'm, Snapchat, I'm like Remy motherfucking Martini. You know, it all depends on how I feel. <laughs> Change your handle like every other day. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just let us know. Hit us up on our socials. I, we also have this generic Gmail that you can reach us at. Um, what is it? It's oh, here it is. Burly podcast at gmail.com b-u-r-l-y podcast at gmail.com so you can send us emails um and that is we're kind of bare bones right now we like we don't have a website we don't have an instagram we don't have a patreon or anything like that so <laughs> we're kind of bare bonesing it right now until we kind of get going and uh, yeah that's it i feel like it us up really hard right now we're really looking hard. for topics any <laughs> topics that you're interested in if you're interested in doing an interview we we'd be down for doing interviews because we had talked oh, about doing yes. that yes, yeah. yes yes i would love to talk to more performers and this isn't just um you know to burlesque performers like any type of performer i've got a lot of pole dance friends i have a lot of um aerial friends um i mean i just have a lot of bunch of different performer friends so and production you. Yeah. 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 So, Cuz you know, I don't yeah. I don't think productions given a lot of voices <laughs> right there. Right. Yeah, unless they're a stage manager and then they're just bossing around all that night, but <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, stage managers are magical. <laughs> we need you know, ev- stage managers. <clears throat> we need stage managers, kittens, you know, lighting, mu- music, a- whatever, the technical term, AV or whatever. Uh, yeah. It would be. But yeah, we all have crazy stories and we all like to talk. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of stories. <laughs> so we're going to have a story time. We're going to like pop popcorn and sit by the, the fire. Just kidding. I don't have a fireside to sit by, but <laughs> until, you know, the sun. That's what your fire is out there in Texas. Just go outside. (laughs) Go outside. Jenny, Remy, you look like you're turning red. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. (laughs) Is your flesh burning? No, not at all. (laughs) Not at all. Uh, But yeah, we'll have some early uh, story time, showgirl story time. Um, Yeah. So just stay tuned. I think that's everything. That did we talk about everything we were going to talk about? I think I think we talked about everything. You know, as much as I'm going to talk about myself being, you know, non braggadocious <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I strip. Yeah, <laughs> I've produced shows. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. So then, uh, Remy, you're going to do a little card pull for us, and this is something we're going to do at the beginning of each episode to like kind of set the vibe set the mood the tone but we thought today we could just wrap it up with a little card pull <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> there is, is there a fly in the room okay <laughs> i'm not high enough no there is <laughs> see you like waving your hand around i'm like are you making fun of me <laughs> I'm, like, it up. I'm just kidding no it's a gnat 
and I was trying to get the gnat away from me. And, you know, for those that can't see, that can only hear, my glasses flew off my head and across the room because that's how I roll. But yeah, D is going to let me do my woo-woo stuff at the beginning of each, you know, show. And I'm going to pull a card that, you know, could be about the topic. Who's, who knows? Who knows? We're just going to pull yeah, a tarot like card. Set the mood. Set the vibe. Set the mood. And, and it, it lets yeah. me get my woo-woo out because, you know. Since, since we're doing this at the end, so uh, this will be like your mood for the day moving forward. Take moving it into. Yeah. yeah. This is your your card for the, the, the week. The or, weekend, how, whenever you're listening often, to this. <laughs> how often are we going to do it? We didn't cover that. How often? Oh, so yeah. we're going to well, Texas Burlesque Fest is going to be our next one. So right. So that's in a couple of weeks. So we're probably going to drop new episodes. We said every two ish weeks until we find our flow and um, things like that. So right now, about every two weeks. Yeah. Every two weeks. Okay. Two ish. All weeks. right. All right. Let's see. Drop that card on me. Drop that card, drop that beat. <laughs> Ooh, we got the seven of pentacles, girlfriend. Seven of pentacles. We're going to plant those ideas. We're going to plant, you know, those new routine ideas, those new ideas, those new projects that are coming up. And with us planting our seeds, we are going to sow a whole new world. Yes. Um, if you're familiar with the seven of pentacles, it is all about, you know, working at what you want, the goal that you want. And so I'm just going to do the basic, I'm just going to read from the book and take from it what you will. Do with it what you will. Yeah. <laughs> do with it what you will. But I think this is a great card to be pulling on this first book. <laughs> pseudo first episode <laughs> of us doing this so setting intentions great reward future planning and prosperity the seven of pentacles speaks of prosperity as she plants her assets in the ground the image of a prospering town flickers in and out if you set intentions for what you hope to achieve you will find yourself victorious. Plan for the future so you can harvest the fruits of your labor and reap the rewards. Now, the deck that I'm pulling from, I'm going to pull from a different deck every time, but the deck that I'm pulling from today is Mira Visions. Mira, M-I-R-R-A Visions. It is the most expensive tarot deck I've ever purchased, but there's a reason for it because it's not just a tarot deck. It's a tarot and oracle deck. And I'm just going to show it to my friend so she can see what it does. So it changes. That's cool. Yeah, it changes. Yeah. So I can't remember what the, the name of this type of, let's see if it says at the beginning, but it, it changes. It's like those old school cards in the 80s that would change from one thing to the other. And so it it's does that. Holographic, um, is it? I forget what it's called. Yeah, I'm trying to see if it says it because it's one of those words that's like, oh, yeah, that's what those are called. But then you never, ever use that word ever again. So um, it's a. I thought it was called holographic, but I could be completely. It, it, yeah, wrong. it's almost holographic in the fact that it changes colors, but it, it's two totally different. Um, lenticular is that right yeah that maybe right? that's it are, are you trying to look it up but it's a great deck you know you're gonna pay double the cost of a normal deck do not buy the knockoffs because it is worth spending the extra money if you're gonna buy an oracle deck and a, a tarot deck just look up mirror visions um he came up the creator james Eads came up with this on his own, but there's been lots of knockoffs, and I found out through him from uh, found out about this deck through the Tiki Talk. So <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it came up in my ticky talk and i was like ooh and loving sparkly things yeah and it's just an amazing deck because it, it combines so much more than just a tarot deck it's tarot oracle and he's really in depth with with his his card art for instance you know th- he associates the the tarot with horoscopes which every horoscope sign has its own tarot i don't know if you knew that but i did you should look up scorpio that. i can't think of what scorpio is but i will I'm still trying yeah. to find this word. Why can't I think of the word? I know it's going to like hit me at like midnight and I'm going to jump up out of my bed. And you're going to be like out of bed. That's like, it. Ooh, that's it. By golly, I got it. I found I'm it. Text you yeah, and be right. like, yes, it was lenticular. Am I saying that right? Lenticular. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Lenticular motion. So I think that's, what it is. that's it. Yeah. And so, yeah, it does that whole like... It's a tarot card and an oracle card, and the art works That's great. Cool. I didn't, I didn't know that existed. Yeah, but I have well, so many know. decks. We'll be pulling up new ones all the time, I and have a bunch of decks too that we can use. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, rock and roll. I like that message. We're recording this on a Friday, um, so it's a good uh, message to go into the weekend with. Yeah. And. Um, those yeah. ideas, those plans are worth planting. They are nurturing. Uh, right now, it's like everything's blooming, and yeah, I yeah, things it. have already bloomed here. They're like on, they're, they're on their way. They're, they're starting to bloom here. Like my tree bloomed. For, my tree didn't bloom last year, so it bloomed this year, and I was like, oh, yeah. And so I think it's a um, some sort of blossom. I don't think it's a cherry blossom, but. Uh, but it's got the little white flowers on it. And uh, my Could peach pear. tree. Or peach. What? Well, I do have peach a peach tree. Pear. That's blooming too. Yeah. It's um, uh, the, the flowers are pink and they're coming. Yeah, in. yeah. Yeah. So I am excited about that. So hopefully we'll have peaches this year. And I've got tulips and daffodils in my garden. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. All of that stuff is done in my garden. All of that stuff is like. Yeah, we're going into 85 or 80 plus degrees, lady, and 100, <laughs> over 100 in heat index. My my flowers are, I, yeah, they're I, doing great. I miss that heat, but at the same time, I don't miss that heat, but. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go swimming while you're here, and then you'll get to go yeah. back home where you don't get to swim all I'm year. I'm excited to do that as well. Uh oh, I think I lost Jenny. There we go. Are you still there? Okay, Remy. Sorry, I I'm am. Keep changing your name like that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, D, D, double D. D. That's where uh, I'm going this weekend for Mother's Day. I'm being taken to a cafe called Mama D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Was like it's it's meant to be. It's perfect. It's meant to be. Yeah, Mama D. Right. I'm excited. I've never been so. You have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you. I'm excited to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> right, right. I want for Mother's Day. No, my husband got me a really awesome present that um that randomly came across my <clears throat> Instagram the other day. It's a photo shoot in um Massachusetts at a studio and they're doing this whole wet look shower kind of set. And I saw them setting it up, I guess, from the last one. And it's like all black. And then they shower you. (laughs) I don't know how. With water. And it's like, uh, reminds me of like, you know, a video music set or like the Magic Mike set in uh, Vegas. And you do like video and photos. And I was like, I want to do this. And he's like, is that what you want for Mother's Day? And I was like, (gasps) yes. So that's my Mother's Day present. But it's not till July. So, yeah. uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, Mother's Day. <laughs> but all right, well, let's wrap it up because I have to go mom and pick up the little, the little, uh, 
Little, little yeah, me too. <laughs> Mine keeps on hitting the door. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's like, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. All right, Remy. Well, that is a wrap. And um, we will see you again um, when I'm in Texas. We. Me, hello. We, me. Uh, we'll see you when I'm in Texas for the festival. And uh, yeah, that's it. So. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to sign off. Are you ready? We're going to sign off. Ready. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Take it Take easy. Take it easy. Take it sleazy. And a little, and a little strip teasy. Strip teasy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get we'll get on timing. We'll get our timing. We will. We will. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>